Hey everybody, it's Derek from Masters of Shred, or you may better know me as Mr. Shred, and I'm going to give you guys something a little bit different today than we normally do. Um, as many of you know, a very good friend of our platform is none other than the mighty Steve Brown of Trickster, Tokyo Motor Fist, Def Leppard. Um, and we've been featuring Steve on our platform for a number of years now. We've actually grown to become really close friends. And he's been a big supporter of our platform as well. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know all about that too. You guys have all heard about the new guitar brand that he started called Steve Brown Sound. And they are guitars that are distributed through Guitar Fetish. Um, we were actually speaking with Steve for a number of months before those guitars were released. And he would be sending us pictures about them and even spec sheets. And literally, they blew our minds. My biggest question, or one of many questions, was how are you going to offer these guitars with the specs you just told me about for that price you just told me about? That doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think it was actually humanly possible. So, you know, we've been highly anticipating these guitars hitting the market so we can get our hands on one and really see um, if the impossible could be made possible by Steve Brown Sound and the folks at Guitar Fetish uh, by making these guitars. So long story, super short, the day has finally come. Now if you guys are looking for an in-depth demo, um, you know, showing you the pickups, showing you all different tone settings you can get on this guitar, this may not be the video for you because I'm not really a demo guy and I'm not looking to throw my hat into that ring right now. But what I will tell you about these guitars is I'm gonna give you my honest, unbiased opinion right out of the gate, how this guitar sounds, plays, features I like about it, maybe things I don't like too much about it, but I gotta tell you the truth, there's not much to not like about this guitar. So Steve actually sent me the VS200 offset model. I had requested it, um, and it's in that gold color, and all these guitars, they are hand relic. So they're hand aged, so that means they're all gonna be unique. You're gonna see different markings that you don't see on other ones or you know, the, the extent of where it's worn. So that's very cool. And that goes hand in hand with the fact that each one of these guitars has its own personalized serial number in it as well, which is actually on the back of the neck plate, which when you think about it, is odd for a $379 guitar. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is a $379 guitar. Because the first thing I said when I took it out of the box, this thing is so well balanced that it's frightening. Um, really, the first thing I did say wasn't even about the guitar, it's about the case. I upgraded and got a case with it, and the case is this gorgeous, like alligator um, leather esque with red interior. It's truly stunning. Um, and it's truthfully a cheap add on. It was like an $80 add on. So, you know, Guitar Fetish is offering you not only these killer guitars. Um, but the awesome cases. But getting back into it here, for $379, you're gonna be really hard pressed to find another guitar in the market that has these kind of specs at that kind of price point and looks this good. So right off the bat, this guitar, all the guitars, and there's about three different models. You can get one with a reverse headstock, one with a straight headstock, and humbucker two singles, and you get this one they call the offset model. I chose the offset model because I'm just a bigger guy and tiny guitars sometimes look really stupid when I'm playing and especially standing up. So this one is actually so well balanced and perfect for my you know, frame that I, I'm really happy I made this choice. And super, super well balanced. Does not feel like a $379 guitar at all. It feels like literally a $1,300 to $1,500 guitar. So pretty amazing they were to pull this off. Right out of the bat, gorgeous flame neck. I mean, you're getting Gorgeous flame here, which I'm not going to pick up too much, but I mean, you can see this right here. This is just stunning. Like super smooth, rolled edges on the fretboard, no sharpness there at all. And that's the first thing I did. I put my hand across it, see if I'm going to get cut up at all. Nothing like that. Um, really beautiful. I mean, there's no pickup mounts, which make it look even more, you know, seamless and, and, and pretty, honestly, in my view. Um, the Floyd Rose, I immediately grabbed it, started touching around with the C, because that intrigued me the most. You tell me you're going to charge $379 for a guitar, 
and you're telling me you're putting a genuine Floyd Rose on it? Well, what are you doing? And it's not a special? What is this? That was my biggest concern. What the hell is this thing? And what I can tell you is it's a really sturdy, durable Floyd Rose. And I haven't really found too many issues really with it um, at all. Um, truth be told, maybe oil up some of the fine tuners if they're a little stiff. But again, folks, it's a $379 guitar. It's got a Floyd Rose on it too. And you can get really crazy on this thing without having to tighten the bar really at that much at all. I have some very high end trims and I had to actually consistently tighten the bar every, I found myself doing 20 seconds, which can be a problem. This trim doesn't really have that, at least for me. I didn't run into that issue. Um, so it feels very tight, very, very sturdy, the trim. And you got a treble bleed in this. You got a treble bleed. So if you're not familiar with that, pretty simple. You're gonna be able to keep those really nice tones when you roll off the volume too. Cause usually when you roll off the volume, you lose a lot of the tone there. It gets a little, little less output, I mean, obviously, and just, you're gonna lose a little bit of that sizzle. This keeps that intact. I remember um, C was actually telling me about that. <sighs> long time ago, I said, dude, you need to get these in your guitars, they're incredible, and you got a treble bleed in this guitar as well. Again, 379, you gotta be kidding me here. And you put inside, they put in a uh, coil tap switch as well, which allows both pickups coil tapped. I mean, again, 379 is just kind of that no-brainer territory that we're talking about here. Also, you have the adjustable truss rod right here, which, you know, makes it convenient as all hell for anybody. So what also is cool about this guitar too is that it utilizes the quick plug um, guitar fetish pickup system, which pretty simple. These are Steve Brown sound pickups and he has a whole line of them now that you can get and they sound incredible. They sound great. This guitar does not sound like a $379 guitar. <laughs> I mean, if I go to the guitar center right now and you give me 400 bucks, I can tell you right now what I'm gonna walk out there with. And it's gonna be a guitar with half the personality as this and with half the functionality. So, and with half the capabilities. So, with these kind of pickups, which this ones are actually called the Arena Rock Pluses. So, there are 14. Um, K Al Nico five pickups, which they're so warm. They sound so articulate as well. But the coolest thing about them being a part of the quick plug system from Guitar Fetish is that you can literally um, pull these out and unplug them with one plug. No soldering required. No soldering. You literally one plug, unplug it, and you can put any pickup you want in its place. And Steve, if you go on the guitarfetish.com, his Steve Brown Sound line has a bunch of different pickups that you can choose from and different colors. And you can just swap them right in and play with all the tones and the tones are all great. And again, they don't sound like they would be something used in a $379 guitar. It sounds like something you would find in a $1,300, $1,500, $1, $1,700 guitar. And something else I wanna talk about about these guitars too. Being at this price point, listen, you're not getting a Gibson. You're not getting an, an Ibanez Prestige to a degree. Because truthfully, if you put this guitar up right now against them, it could go on stage. You could use this on stage. Steve uses this on stage all day. It's very well balanced. I mean, I don't see any issues you'd have with that, to be honest with you. And at the end of the day, what you have to realize here, for this price point, you got a guitar that has character, style, Total capabilities of the wazoo, okay? You got a bleed switch. You got yourself a coil tap. You got yourself a Floyd. Swappable pickups. You can take the guitar on the road and you don't have to worry. Because at the end of the day, it costs you $379 and it'll play like a dream. I mean, the guitar has a very comfortable neck, 12 inch radius, a little chunkier, but not really much chunkier than my Radhawk, which you guys have seen that in a lot of other guitars I have. It's a good solid feel to it, and you can still rip, you know, you feel like you're really digging in. I dig that. So 
when you're looking for a guitar like that, you can travel with, you can beat up. That looks good. Style points, great tone. 379, serial numbered, makes you feel special. It does, and it looks damn good on stage. I highly recommend everybody check these guitars out. And listen, I was apprehensive, I was on the fence. I'm like, how are you gonna do this? How are you gonna make a guitar like that, sound like that? What I can tell you is, you can't go wrong. It's a no-brainer, you can't really lose. You know, you buy the guitar, you don't like it, it costs you $379. You always got reverb. It's not like you're going out and buying a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 guitar. Nothing like that. Um, but it could hang with them. You put a really good setup on this thing too, and I don't see why this could not rival any guitar in the upper market for its money. So again, style points off the charts, tone, capability, functionality. This thing is... This thing's a beast, a shred beast, it really is. If you wanna see some more videos, I'm gonna put a lot more videos up on my Instagram, at Mr. Shred Official, at Masters of Shred. And if you wanna see even more, then just go on YouTube, search these guitars. There's plenty of YouTube influencers demoing them, playing them, shredding on them, all that kind of cool stuff too. And you get a better feel if this is the kind of guitar for you. Um, and if you like this video, hey, subscribe to the channel. We're going to do some more interviews here coming up soon. We're talking shreds, some more, you know, players you'd love to see and uh, learn a little bit more about the careers and whatnot. And it helps us out a lot too. So shred the subscribe button, give us a like, hit the notification bell and, you know, start following our new videos coming out and check out Steve Brown's sound. Steve's really honest with all these guitars, folks. They absolutely scream and I couldn't be any happier for him. And stay tuned for definitely some more content on these wicked guitars because I have a feeling this is not going to be the only one I own. I got to get my hands on that humbucker single, single one because I love single coils. So very cool. Check out Steve Brown's sound by Guitar Fetish. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for some more little short snippet, talk and shred and uh, shred and tell because I guess this is a shred and tell.